administration and the work of policy. <laughs> together with the doctor <clears throat> that unfortunately didn't manage to be here. Uh, of course, you know the, the evolution of apps. <clears throat> For the first time in our I'm using an app in my smartphone, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm seeing what is going on through my smartphone, through the apps, okay. The time that I'm scambling, the tactics, and so forth. So, the first time I'm using an app to <coughs> announce this for, and I have been here for several years. And the hailing, what is a hailing? Uh, it's a gender, okay, it's a normal form of gender. <coughs> Introduction, the question, the right of the ground, back of the results, and the market. Let's go forward quickly in order to have questions. Uh, first of all, what is the hailing? <coughs> the hailing apps um, address mobile services, applications that enable transportation, uh, internet, use internet, using geolocation, and mobile applications. And so we can track the service and the payments you using more, more, most of the time you use credit card. <coughs> For instance, Uber. Uber is a uh, and the uh, Spanish Cabify, Cabify is only released in Brazil. <coughs> Cabify is a Spanish one, a very, very big one. It's in Rio, in Sao Paulo, <coughs> Cabify, Uber, and others. Yeah. So, hailing is the process of ordering a car, a taxi, a limo, or any other form of transportation pickup via by a computer or mobile device. I have <coughs> one in my in my Moscow. Well, when I arrived here in Boston the first time, uh, well, before coming to Boston in, in Brazil, in Rio. <coughs> I realized that there is Uber here. And the first thing I, I, I do when I travel abroad is to see what, whether or not there is Uber. Uh, for instance, in Greece, there is no Uber. <coughs> uh, I was talking to a friend of mine from Greece, and he told me that there is no, no Uber in Greece. Uh, because if there is a Uber, it's very easy for me, because I, what, all I need is a credit card. <coughs> I know exactly the, the price, the floor, the, the ride. <laughs> And I can talk to the mod, to the driver, uh, and so forth. So I, when I arrived at Logan Airport in Boston, the first thing I tried to pick up Uber, <coughs> but I was inside the airport using Wi Fi. I had to call Uber, but I, I had to go outside to wait for the car. And outside, I would lose my, my link. So uh, I went with my wife, so we decided to take a cab. <coughs> was, it was an adventure. Uh, the, the driver char charged me a lot. The driver didn't have change and complained with me because I, I didn't have change. I, it's my fault not to have change. I had to go inside the hotel. I had to ask for change. I had to return. I had to pay the driver. And the guy, the guy that stays in front of the hotel, and they asked me, you, know, you, you had problems with the driver? Yeah. And it will be. There's a, there's a reason why Uber is so 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 used here in Boston. So it didn't happen in Brazil. In Rio, for instance, uh, five years ago, you need a, you need a license to, to have a taxi in Brazil. In Rio, five years ago, uh, uh, a taxi license <coughs> more or less uh, we have to pay more or less one hundred thousand dollars. One hundred thousand dollars, and there was there was no one to be acquired. Today, you can purchase a uh, tax driving license and you know, expect uh, ten thousand dollars. And there are a lot of licenses, and you can pick and choose whatever, whatever you want. So it's Uber at effect <coughs> and behaving effect. So it's important in Brazil because, for instance, the, the number of uh, uh, inhaling apps users <coughs> double monthly in Brazil in 2014. In the end of 2015, almost 20 percent of all internet users in Brazil with smartphones okay, <coughs> request transportation at least once in the preceding six weeks via uh, uh, inhaling apps. Well, <coughs> Brazil has more smartphones, mobile sorry, mobile phones than people. In Brazil, there are more mobile phones than people. 
<coughs> of course, you can conclude that in Brazil there are people that have more than people that have more than two or three mobile phones. I believe that uh, uh, babies do not have smartphones. Okay? <coughs> so if you have more smartphones than, than people, of course, there are people having two or three smartphones. <coughs> so it's uh, it's very important for us to understand what is going on. Uh, so the research question is very, very simple. According to several academics, there are so far few studies on the antecedents of use of the alien caps in, in the film. <coughs> so this article aims to answer the following research questions. Uh, what are the antecedents of the invention we use, uh, reuse, use again, in alien apps on smartphones by people in Brazil? So what are the antecedents? <coughs> uh, what drives people to use Uber, for instance, or other apps. There are a lot of apps in Brazil, not just Uber. Okay? <coughs> but Uber is the most important today. Uh, so the first question is, why do people use information systems uh, and use apps? It's the first important question. Uh, why do you use, why do people use information systems or why do people use apps? Or, if you want, uh, why do people resist to use? This is a long discussion about that. Uh, perhaps it's the most developed area here in Nazi uh, adoption of information systems. And you can see if you, if you try to submit the paper to this track, <coughs> the rejection rejection rate is very, very high. Otherwise, there are tracks here that at least all the papers that are submitted, all, more or less all, almost all they are sent. A few, of course. And, but the, the reduction rate in the adoption of information systems is very, very, very high because it's very well developed, a lot of models, <coughs> a lot of statistics, psychometric scale, <laughs> and everything's wrong. Okay, but okay, let's go for it. And uh, why do people use information systems? Of course, you, you know that in the, in the first presentation that was about that. Everything starts with TRA, and your reason action is totally wrong because I believe it's totally wrong if you believe that I am a rational person <coughs> and unfortunately I'm not rational, and you are not very rational. Human beings are not rational, okay? But the, the real reason action believes that we are rationals. Okay, let's go forward. From TRA, TPP, planning the behavior, tries to fix reason, reason action. And then, the most famous path. Well, then, and then 10, 10, 10, 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, then next set, okay, E10, okay, you taught, you taught 2, you taught 3, and the work uh, Barkey and uh, Ben Bazar called that the 10 XX research, 10 XX research. All I have to do to have a doctoral degree, if you get a doctoral degree, is to insert a new variable. <laughs> And the dun, 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 you have a model, and have, uh, now we are a doctor. <laughs> Use a, a new variable, do that, okay. So we have a lot of models. Uh, and I, I must confess that uh, I'm an engineer, I'm a master engineer, I'm a doctor in engineering, no one is perfect. So I used to say this for all, all over my, my life. <clears throat> my master thesis in the 80s was about Monte Carlo simulation. And I had to develop, I had to develop a software to run Monte Carlo simulation. I had, okay, by myself, yes. Okay. So I used the disk, I, I, I have used the disk a lot, <coughs> but um, I'm, a, a, I'm a little disappointed with this, because, well, uh, in our area here, so we need to talk to people, we need to understand what's going on, perhaps we need to develop expert experiments, <coughs> quasi experiments, it's okay. Uh, and so, but uh, sometimes I, I, I would rather to develop some statistics in the case. And so uh, from TRA, TRA, TPP, TAN, okay, and it's But we can, uh, we can add to this uh, discussion the innovation diffusion theory. Why specific innovation <coughs> increases very fast and why some other innovation fail? Rogers, Everett Rogers, <coughs> diffusion of innovation. So a lot of models take into consideration the innovation that they turn closer and tries to include the innovation in the model. Okay, so innovation will help us. And then of course trust. And trust is important. 
If I don't trust the driver, it's impossible for me to use Uber or something like that. If I do not trust, for instance, uh, the service, it's quite difficult for me to use an app to, to hail a tax. <coughs> of course you know, hailing in English is something like that. Hey, okay. Hey, we hail is something like that. It's called tax. And what's more important is the, this variable, user satisfaction. Uh, in this, this paper here, Wicks and Todd, it's very important. They, they, they said that there are two distinct theoretical strands about in research and adoption of information technology. The first involves the models of acceptance of technology, in, in mainly PAN, PAN++, PAN variable. But there is another strand, other research, in my opinion, Developed starts with Bailey, first, Pearson, uh, Ives, and others, that applies user satisfaction with the information systems to, play, to explain the adoption of same. Two different <coughs> theoretical strands, two different theoretical strands that are not linked to each other, and two diff different theoretical strands that do not talk to each other. And uh, both theoretical strands have greatly contributed to the increase in understanding the success and the failure of the SUs, but remain distinct from each other. For instance, uh, in the morning, uh, I, 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 I attended a session about success, information satisfaction. It's totally different from that. Then another section about 10, 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 10, and they don't talk to each other. Different strands. Okay? So, according to Wicks and Paul, uh, these two approaches, if used jointly, might better explain the information technology adoption phenomenon. And uh, because the, the, the R square, the R square of PAN research is very low. <coughs> uh, if you have 20%, 25%, the R square, it's a model. So, there are a lot of other variables you are not taking into consideration. This is exactly what's in R square low. Explain to you because uh, there's other variables, other antecedents that are missing in the model. Okay? And there's another problem 10, 10, 2, 10, 3, you tau, you tau, 2, you tau, 3, you tau, blah, blah, blah. they don't take into consideration the technology and the system itself. No matter the technology, no matter the systems, you can use the same model. It's, it's astonishing. This is what uh, Oli Balsi and Yakolo in the paper, it's a marvelous paper, it's, 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 it's looking desperately in the IT artifact in the IT research or something like that. It's pursuing or looking for, I guess it's pursuing desperately the IT artifact in, artifact in the IT research. Because most of the time we don't talk about the IT artifact, we don't talk about the information system, it doesn't matter. Can be every, any, any information systems, can be any information technology that the systems and the model will, will apply, okay, in a very good way. Is it correct? I don't believe it's correct. An app is totally different. Or for instance, an ERP, as, 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 as SAP, for instance, in both are called information systems. Okay. An, an ERP and an enterprise system is totally different from an app, a mobile app. And both are classified as information systems. So we try together to blend these two approaches, to put together these two strands in order to pursue uh, a stronger explanation of the antecedents of use of mobile <coughs> applications for taxes and for transportation. So here's the model. Okay. So it's very easy <coughs> and very quickly. First of all, DRA TPV. Subjective models. I use because you use. I mimic you. Okay. Tab, you know that. Usefulness, use of use. Innovation, <coughs> diffusion, Rogers. Complexity. Well, the, if, if it's complex, it's not complex. It's very simple. Compatibility, okay. <coughs> the way the technology complies with your style of life, compatibility, and relative advantage, the way the technology gives you an advantage <laughs> regarding the, the old technology you were using. So a new advantage. Of course, here, trust 
and pay attention. Near user satisfaction. I, I might say that like a proxy of attitude. Okay. And uh, the user satisfaction, if you are satisfied, if you are satisfied on using the system of the apps. Okay, so there is an intention to use, of course, here is a to use again, okay? Because uh, I cannot give a, a survey to a person, uh, to a person that <coughs> doesn't know what is Uber about, so it's very difficult for this person to answer the question. Uh, so here is the intention to use, use again. Okay. And so, <coughs> of course, the sample that we had a collection of liquid scale, all Brazilians who have used the Nihani apps, we start with this number, we end up with this number. People that have used Nihani, Uber or similar. So we use a survey in the lab, and they they analyze structure efficient modeling, they covariance based, they use this factor 14. And confirmatory, best analysis, all this stuff in order. So I, I, I go for it. Okay. I'll have to do this so to be completely in the right? But pay attention. Jibu, no jibu. Gaga ji, gaga jau. It's true. Gaga, we don't have gaga to be else. And the results are here. <coughs> First of all, pay attention here. The R squared is 0.75%. Very high, very high. And the invention used uh, is point, almost 0.6%, of explanation. And of course, there are a lot of questions. They use here control variables. Uh, education, age, gender, income, occupational, marital, sexual, marital, not marital, blah, 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 blah. So, not significant at all. <laughs> here, the subject not norms. The precipitates of use, okay, here, no significant here, and there is an explanation, of course, because when you are using Uber or something like that, you are acquainted with the systems, and the ease of use is not important for you because you are acquainted with the systems. <laughs> there is a, a, a the left, the, 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 the curve, the curve of isn't the K throughout time, over time. <clears throat> uh, and people here, uh, people, that, that people that are using behaving uh, apps. Complex, the, of course, the perceived ease of, ease of use was not significant here, or significant, significant this way here. And the uh, complex is opposite, is the opposite, opposite of the perceived ease of, ease of use. <coughs> okay? it, it happens a lot. Uh, compatibility is very important. It's the way, the way these apps complies with your stay, uh, your lifestyle. Compatibility and the relative advantage is how these new apps give you give you advantage regarding the the, the other process you use to to hail <coughs> attacks. It is much better. This is the reason why I will, I will return from here to the airport by using Uber, not more the right. And I, I I took Uber three or four times here. Take the subway. And the subway, <laughs> but the subway here is very complicated. Sorry about that. Very complicated. Yeah. And I am acquainted with the subways. Okay. And there was no one there to explain this. You have to, have to understand by yourself. Yeah, but but I, 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 I did it. And here, trust, of course. And here, you have a very, very strong explanation power. So, what are the main conclusions here and contributions? So, of course, the results. Okay. And let's go to the, to the last slide. For sustained user satisfaction with the behaving apps as a proxy of attitude or something like that, or in the middle of the systems, <coughs> as an antecedent intention of use, can be considered a valid academic contribution of this work. So we are proposing a different model. We are proposing a model where we try, we are trying to join, to put together two different strands. <clears throat> that do not <coughs> talk to each other. Okay. So the results accrue from this article uh, that calls the fitness index of the structural metamodel developed 
uh, higher values of r squared support that the joint use of those two to reference strands can be more adequate than the use of either of them separately. <coughs> it's, it's amazing because there are several academicians, that researchers that use that and two and three and four to them. And there are a lot of scores that use, for instance, the, the, the use satisfaction and, and quality of the system and so forth. <coughs> and they don't talk to each other. And so finally, this paper addresses uh, as they have, as they have insufficiently researched the area in Brazil. So of course we need further research. There are other apps uh, turning up in Brazil. <coughs> of course, there is a limitation. We take into consideration that all e-hailing apps are similar, they are not similar, they are more or less the same, but not the same. <coughs> the, inter the interface is different, of course, of trust. The normal limitations that our research used to, <coughs> to deal with. And uh, here is uh, the contribution I would like to bring to you and perhaps discuss if you have any questions. Thank you very much for the question.